Yeah, so the recording in, is in progress right now. And uh, this is a paragraph we need to we need to reveal before tomorrow class because uh, some of you guys are very uh, are very bad at uh, are not good at uh, imagining ideas. So we need to go through uh, to go through the paragraph before tomorrow. This is the paragraph we are looking at. So let's start. Let's start. Ideally, both the I-10 pilots in the air and troops on the ground prefer would prefer to see each other with their eyes. So okay, this is the first sentence we are going to use to expand our brand map. So here comes the brand map. Ideally, you would use the word ideally speaking, it's like ideally, or uh, ideally, I'm going to talk about this. Or you can say that. Interestingly, I'm going to tell you something. So once you begin your speaking, okay, once you begin your saying, once you begin speaking, you if you feel so interested, if you feel interest, uh, interested, okay, in what you are going to say and what you are going to deliver, okay, by spoken English, or we can use the word going to verbally deliver, you are going to say, ideally something is going to happen or interestingly something is going something is going to happen so this is a way to to get the listeners interest once you begin to talk about something for example i find uh, i find netflix very interesting these days so i can say that ideally ideally netflix okay netflix netflix brings me brings me from this stage this day to to okay to another stage to another to another stage in okay in all of surprise in all of surprise so this is the way that i that uh, that I convey the word ideally in speaking. So if you find something so interesting, you find something so out of breath, you find something impacting you a lot, you will use the word ideally, interestingly, to begin your oh, to begin your saying. So this one, interestingly, oh sorry, something is wrong with the keyboard, interestingly. Okay, so let's get back to this. They are talking about pilots in the air. They are talking about, uh, about troops on the ground. So troops, uh, please remember the troops are just like a tent for soldiers to stay on the ground in order for them to rest, to relax, and to focus on fighting. So we can see things by our bare eyes. So right here, they said let's see each other with our uh, uh, with with their eyes. So right here. We have uh, two ways to see things. Two ways to okay. Two ways to see things. So the word "see" here, "see" here. The first word that is the original meaning. The original meaning. The second "see" here. The second "see" here is the advanced meaning. So if you say that I I see things in the way they are supposed to be. It means that it means that you understand things. You understand things. You comprehend everything people tell you. But if you see me, you see me. It means that you can recognize. Okay, you can recognize who I am by looking at my face, by focusing your eyes on my face in order to have a, a clear picture of my face in your eyes. So if you can see, okay, somebody somebody or something with okay with your eyes you can say that i see that with my bare eyes bare eyes berry is not about the animal bear b-e-a-r okay b-a-r b-e-a-r it is so much about the bear you can think of the panda but barrier it means that your eyes only your eyes you don't use other senses to see things so right here we see with our bare eyes, we see by our bare eyes. And if I can say, I see things, okay, I see things, this is, this is the advanced meaning. I see things, it's not just about understanding, it's not just about comprehending anymore. See things here, it means that I see, okay, I try to see things by my senses, by my senses. People will use their sick 
sense, okay, to see things. Then we use the sixth sense to, okay, to try to understand you, to try to feel you, to try to feel you, to try to read your mind, okay? So right here, uh, if we don't see people, how can we feel people? How can we know what they are thinking in their mind? So it's, it, 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 it's, kind of, um, it's kind of a very unique way for people to train themselves. First, they can see things by the senses without, okay, without, without meeting them or without face to face, okay? So what is it? They try to use the sixth sense when they consider, okay, a problem, when they consider a real problem is a, a present problem with that kind of person. The present problem, they, okay, they look back, okay, they look back at, okay, the, the, the past or the memories with that person, okay? They try to they try to reflect they try to reflect uh, okay that person's behavior the person behavior or okay or acts two words okay the problems to us the problems in the past so okay and the and the last one they try to they try to keep okay in mind in mind the kind of uh, the, the the typical characteristics characteristics of that person correct okay characteristics of that person so this is the way so right here we have only one sentence the very first sentence i to me and right here eyes and this is the first prime map we have so okay after 10 minutes delivering my vitamin uh, my sorry english lecture here comes the vietnamese ones Okay.